Good morning, everyone. Apologies for my sleepy face. I just woke up. It's not even six in the morning. I'm, I'm out here taking a long exposure of uh, something I saw last night when I got here, that island with those mountains in the uh, background. But it was uh, raining pretty bad, so I wasn't able to uh, to take it last night. So I decided to do it this morning. I don't know where I am right now. I mean, I know the location on the map, but I wouldn't be able to tell you the name of this uh, place. I left the uh, Low Floating Islands a couple of days ago. I'm on my way to Mo Irana, where I have an apartment for four days, just to take a break from the car in the middle of the uh, road trip. And I'm taking the slower, longer, more scenic route along the coast, and it's been beautiful these last two days i've seen uh, beautiful locations but it's been a, a lot of driving i'm a little bit tired so uh, today i'm gonna take it even slower and i'm just stopping by spots like this one and maybe taking the time to uh, make long exposures and stuff like that and i also thought that it would be a good time uh, to make a video so yeah this is a day on the road here in norway It's a little bit messy here, but first things first, I need some coffee. Feels nice. And coffee always smells so good. Well, I'm gonna have this and then we'll get going. That's uh, a little better. I have to replace one of the USB cables coming out of the battery. It's the one I use to charge my camera batteries, basically. It's a micro USB cable, or it used to be. That's uh, what's left of the cable. So I think I have another one. I just don't know if it's as long as this one. So I have two micro USBs left. The white one is uh, definitely longer. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Because as I showed you in my car setup uh, tour video, uh, the link will be up there if you haven't watched it. But uh, I have all the USB cables running from the battery to the side of the bed. So at night I can charge everything. So this should be long enough to reach. All right, so here it is. It barely reaches the other side, but just enough. So I'm gonna charge this camera battery that I have here. It's dead and it works. So I'm just gonna leave it there charging.
All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. I have to rush a little bit because I left the uh, camera next to the road here. Look at that, so beautiful. But yeah, some cars pass by really fast and I don't think they would even see the camera here, so. But this is a beautiful scene right here. I'm just uh, taking a long exposure, uh, two minutes, I believe. Yeah, there are 10 seconds left of this. I was just trying to make the clouds disappear a little bit because the clouds today are kind of ugly but also to uh okay done so hopefully that worked that's awesome i think that's just awesome i really really like it at least uh in the viewfinder i don't know how or what it would look like on the computer later but i'm trying it again just a little bit more time this time because i think it was a little bit too dark the peak is gone now i've been taking a bunch of uh, long exposures i think five or six i've been here for a while almost half an hour but it's always worth uh, taking more than one shot because that is the thing that i actually like about long exposures you never know exactly what you are going to get you have a rough idea What a gorgeous view. Norway is just stunning, man. The light is not great today, though. I was expecting a rainy and much cloudier day. We are not having that, unfortunately. I'm also retracing my steps. I have to go back to get a ferry to keep going uh, farther south. So I was uh, here yesterday. I came this way. I was uh, taking some photos at this uh, spot and I think I got one that I really liked. I got it from inside that sculpture or whatever this is. They have like a few of these along the way and some of them are cool, like this one is cool. Others are kind of eh, so-so. But anyway, what a view of the fjord. Just one of the several, I don't know, hundreds Norway has. It's just, what a place. This is probably also a good spot to uh, make breakfast. It's uh, already 10 in the morning. I've been awake for more than four hours. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time uh, with that long exposure of that peak. I think I drove, I don't know, maybe five miles today. So yeah, as I said, it's going to be a kind of a slow day, but hopefully full of uh, good photography. I came to this uh, viewpoint, I was here yesterday as well, but the weather was very different and I wasn't able to get the whole view. This is supposed to be the biggest glacier in Norway and it looks amazing. The light is horrible for photography right now, but it's a very cool view. Here you can see one of the tongues, one of the branches of the glacier that is going down towards the fjord. But you can see other patches of the uh, glacier on top of the mountains. I think it's a pretty big one. I think there is a sign there that it says it's up to 600 meters thick or 1800 feet, something like that. 
I took some pictures yesterday, but the one that I like the most is not the glacier, but it's of a house at the other side of the fjord. You can't see it right now, so I'm gonna play some footage from it yesterday. It's kind of hard to believe that that house exists, and I think it made for a good photograph because of the contrast of the uh, human-made structure against the majestic nature in the background. It's good for a sense of scale, and uh, yeah, an, an image that I liked uh, here from yesterday. I just made it to the uh, ferry. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm late or early. I know, in any case, this is the first ferry ride of today. I don't know if the only one. It'll depend on what I find at the other side. So this uh, drive is part of a scenic drive along this part of the coast of Norway that is called something like this. It involves six ferry rides. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing, but this part I am doing because I have no plans during this road trip. I don't know if I'm gonna be spending the night at the uh, fjord I'm going to now or if I'll want to uh, take another ferry to yet another, a different uh, fjord. That gives me a lot of flexibility and freedom. Sometimes it can be frustrating because I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I think it's been great for my photography. I'll definitely be talking about this in a different video. Uh, and I think I'm late. I think the ferry is on its way to the other side. I was indeed late, just by 10 minutes, but that meant that I had to wait for a couple hours uh, here but the ferry is finally back should be a quick ride just 10 minutes i think this is a very tight fit here i was thinking that uh, i wasn't i wasn't going to be able to open the door but i guess i don't need to because this is a uh, a very quick ferry, a, qu a very quick ride, so there is no where to go on this ferry, like, you know, seats or anything, so we'll just wait here. That means that I, I won't see the landscape or anything, but... Alright, we should be here. I just drove all the way to the end of the fjord, to the end of the road. There is no more to explore that way. I found, I saw one image that I, I would love to make because I think it would be a photograph with a lot of potential, but the light is beyond horrible today. I chose the worst day to make a video, but uh, I still have hopes that it will get cloudier later. I don't know, but while I wait, I'm gonna have lunch because it's pretty late. On the menu for today, we have some erter or uh, peas and kikerter or chickpeas. I hope you like my pronunciation. It is definitely not the healthiest diet because these uh, canned foods have a lot of salt but other than that it should be pretty nutritious and it is it is delicious actually i i put a well i'll show you 
I add some uh, nutritional yeast, which adds some flavor to this uh, mixture. And this uh, Moroccan uh, spice blend, it has a bunch of stuff. Ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, pepper. This meal is not gonna win any awards or anything like that, but I think that for being food to uh, be had anywhere on the road, it's pretty good. It's very tasty and it should be healthy for you. So this is the closest parking spot I could find to the location I was talking about, but it also happens to be a pretty cool church, or at least it has a very cool backdrop to it. So I'm going to try to uh, to make an image here too. Let's see this one and this one. This one is hard. It's a pretty photogenic church. Uh, it looks great, but I can't find the uh, right angle. Also, the power lines all around it, that don't help at all. But uh, I'm gonna try from farther away and just try to capture some of the uh, details with a longer lens. I'm gonna try the uh, 85 and see if that uh, changes things. The light is pretty bad. I mean, it's better now. It's getting cloudier. We are facing south here, so the sun is right in front of us. And even though it's behind the clouds right now, it's still pretty strong. So not ideal, but you have to work with uh, what you got. So that right there is the shot I was talking about. I think it's a beautiful, lovely scene. I uh, took a couple of uh, regular shots and now I am trying, of course, long exposures. I'm trying with a couple minutes. It's just to uh, smooth out that water a little bit and those clouds. All right. That looks nice, a little bit dark maybe. So I'm gonna take it again and do uh, three minutes this time. Again, the light is not perfect, far from it actually. The sun is right there and the clouds are very thin. So it's a kind of a harsh environment here to take this photo. But I think it's, uh, it's looking nice and maybe with a little bit of work and uh, decreasing the contrast and working a little bit in the background, this could look uh, very, very nice. All right, done. One quick note, because as you saw, I was shooting by the side of the road. I've been doing this quite a lot during this trip, and I can't believe the crazy traffic in Norway so far. Just keep in mind that this road ends two, three miles from here, and there are just a few houses ahead from uh, here. And the, the, the amount of cars, vans, trucks, semi-trucks that pass by while I was taking pictures for I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It's just insane. Lots of noises too. So yeah, it's a beautiful location. Uh, it's, it's just stunning around here, but it's not as idyllic as you might think from my uh, videos. I have to retake many shots many times because a car passes by or something uh, happens, a plane or, or, or something. 
I mean, I have to do that almost everywhere I go, here in Spain, in the US, it doesn't really matter, but it's just a quick note, so you know what to expect if you decide to make the trip yourself in the future. So it's almost 5 p.m., still plenty of time, but I am gonna start looking for a place to spend the night. People here start to take uh, all the uh, good spots very early. It's not something you wanna leave for last minute, otherwise who knows where you'll end up sleeping for the night. Usually what I do is two to three hours before sunset, if I don't have any plans, that is, uh, I start looking for a place and settle on something and then I go for a walk and just explore around there. And that's what I intend to do today. I have a 25 minute drive to a spot that looks promising. So let's do it before someone else gets there and takes it. spot here the first one there are more down the road supposedly but this one looks pretty good actually This will do for the night just fine. It's uh, relatively flat. It looks like there is a little path slash trail there. It's probably a nice view of the fjord. There are only a couple things that I look for, uh, for uh, when I'm looking for a place to spend the night. One is that it's as flat as possible, even though uh, that's rarely the case, but this is just fine. The other one is that there is good service 4G, uh, it looks like we have edge here, that is not ideal. And the other one is that, yeah, I can walk around, that it is uh, not muddy, so I can actually walk around the car. And a beautiful spot, if possible, and this one looks pretty cool here. I'm gonna check out the view from here, if there is any. Oh wow, look at that. There is even a picnic table there. Uh, well, not bad, not bad at all. This is going to be my backyard for the uh, night. Pretty awesome. So to find the spots like this one, I use an app. It's called Park for Night. I don't necessarily go to the actual spots on that app, but it gives me an idea when you see, you know, several spots around an area, it gives you an idea that there are probably plenty of places there for you to park your car and spend the night. This is the case here on this gravel road. I think there are three or four more um, farther down the road. You've guessed it, it's time to eat more food. Dinner time. Nope. Oh wow, that's a mosquito. <laughs> I think that both are ripe. Oh yeah, that's more than ready. Hopefully it hasn't gone bad. Oh no, perfect. And I'm gonna finish it with the last cracker I have left. Look at that, a beautiful salad for a beautiful place. It's a flock of birds going crazy. <laughs> gonna change my clothes now and get in bed. So this is gonna be it for today for this video. This was just one more day on the road here in Norway. Not as many images today 
uh, as uh, other days but this is how it goes more photography to be done tomorrow tomorrow will bring new uh, possibilities new opportunities new chances new locations all of them beautiful because this country is just beautiful all around so that's all for today thank you so much for watching and see you the next one